Yeah, mine just, I guess, uh, initial just general thoughts of the game. Uh, I thought Fairfield was ex as advertised. Um, knew when we scheduled them what we were getting into when they got everybody coming back off of a team, veteran team. NCAA tournament team getting votes, knew it was going to be really tough on us, knew we'd have to play our best. We didn't play our best. We played okay at times, but certainly not our best. It would have taken our best effort to get the win. Uh, I thought the second quarter was when the momentum really changed. They responded like a veteran team did. You know, they do such a good job in their offense of taking – if you look – if you add these numbers up, you know, they, they don't – 33, 39 from the three – I think that leads to the other 40 from the paint. There's two mid-ranges. You know, you just see how well they execute. They make you wrong. You move the ball around. You think you make the right rotation. And then there's somebody else there that can make it three. We really wanted to go at their, their two preseason co-players this year. We got them in foul trouble. We just couldn't take advantage of it. Thought the separation was in the second quarter when things got tough. Our young team didn't respond well. I thought after that they did. So I'm encouraged going into the rest of the season. We knew this was going to be a tough opener all summer long. This is not your typical opener for most people, but we felt like we owed it to the game. Our game's got a lot of eyes on it right now. Fairfield's having a tough time finding people to play. You know, they want to improve their seed. They went to the tournament last year. I think they were – and if they played at Indiana, I don't agree to help me. I don't remember what Indiana was seeded. Were they a 13? They were a 14 <laughs> with 31 wins, you know. So, talk to Carly and talk to Blake. I've known those guys for a long time, respect their basketball families, and we agreed to play. Uh, I had a lot of people tell me I was crazy. We were crazy for doing it, but uh, I think we learned exactly what we needed to going into our next part of the schedule. Yeah, you said at the SEC Media Day, you said for y'all in the non-conference, you need to have your defense at mid-season form. Yeah. But just what were the struggles today defensively? For you? Garden, five, an undersized lineup. You know, no true five player. Uh, they're they're – Biggest player is not a true post player. So that puts everybody having a guard on the perimeter. That's a hard guard for Vera. Uh, you know, Danica would have played a ton more if 11 hadn't been hurt. But when we saw her hurt, we, we had to go to a small lineup. That gave Pena a lot of really good minutes. I thought she was good. I thought it got Jada Bates a lot of minutes. Um, but they're just so hard to guard in their motion. Uh, you can't predict it. You can scout it all you want, but they – because they can space you and drive it, they can get to the rim, they can make threes behind it, um, become a very, very difficult task to play with a young team early in the year. Um, but I think they'll do that to a lot of people this year. Uh, mentioned it, y'all got off to a 14 to 10 lead after Jenna completed that four point play, but then that's whenever they went on that run and created the separation. What do you think changed from from that point to when they went on, I believe it was an 18 to two run. I thought that was when they really picked up their pressure defense. You know, they came and made us extend full court, got it out of Izzy's hands, forced us to throw it into somebody else. They certainly got Izzy tired. Uh, you know, I knew she was gonna have um, the best defensive player on her all night long and they started putting two on her. I thought they ramped up their defense is what they did. And it kind of made us stand around a little bit. Our shot quality went down and during that same time. Um, and then their offense gets clicking after that. You know, we would take a bad shot, which they turned into transition. I think we gave up two or three transition run outs that just we were obviously should have been tired, but our, we acted tired. So I think we got that right in the third quarter, um, got them fixed, and, and then starting that fourth quarter, I really thought our kids played with uh, – I hope we weren't pacing ourselves. Uh, we finished with good energy. We needed it in that, third, that second quarter. I know after the games, you don't spend a ton of time with the team huddling together, but could you get a sense of the vibe from them? You know, it's always hard to lose your opener, but how do you think that they're I don't think they have any idea. They're not veteran enough to know about losing an opener or losing anything. Uh, we've talked about it going in that the season was going to have its pockets. Uh, our kids are intelligent. They know how good Fairfield is. They, they know that. So uh, I don't – I didn't sense anything. I don't spend a lot of time in there because it's too early to tell. Never, never do I get it. Rarely do I get it right until I watch a little bit of film. So, but I didn't sense any discouragement. I saw, I can tell you this, it was better than any other loss we've been a part of since I've been here coming out of the tunnel. Hey, we're going to get them, coach. Hey, we get, we're going to bounce back. We know what we need to work on now. Way more green energy than we've ever had. I, I hate to lose. I'm disappointed every time we do lose. We want to win them all. Uh, but we will grow from this one, no question. We could have scheduled somebody we could have come in here and beat by 40. Very easily. Those games are out there. That's not what we did.
We talked a little bit about Izzy's game today. I mean, she uh, fully finished 22 points. I know she's mad at herself about the turnover. She will be. She probably she said something about it, I'm sure. Yeah. But uh, what did you think that she did in her debut, really, a first regular season game here? Well, she was a calming voice in the timeouts. She was the voice that, hey, we're going to be okay. I think people are starting to look to her toward that. Uh, they all knew how much uh, attention she was going to draw. Um, she is her own toughest critic. Uh, she will have it broken down. Uh, we're off tomorrow, but we'll talk. We'll talk. But she'll have it broken down by the time I talk to her. There's no question. Uh, and you know, like I did like what we saw being able to move Kiki in there and play some at the point, get her off the ball a little bit. Ideally, I'd like to be able to play. You know, is you closer to 34 minutes like I did Kiki? Um, but I just felt like the way the game was going, she could have played a couple more than that. You know, with a uh, game coming up this Friday, is there maybe, I know you always go back, watch the film, and things become more clear, but anything just initially you feel like is kind of the most um, just thing you can single out to got to improve on? Uh, no, not right off my, not the bat. I, I do think that, um, you know, we'll have a, a better sense of who we're playing against, the scout, when it comes to that. Uh, with Commerce, they've got a new team. Um, it'll be opponent that... It won't put as much pressure on us defensively. I think that will work our half-court stuff. I don't think we'll see press again until we go to UCLA. But I haven't really even started thinking about them other than preparing for 10,000 kids in there buzzing from 1030 in the morning on. So I think it'll be another great crowd. Ellis and his crew have done an amazing job getting our locals and all the schools have supported this night this or this morning game for a long, long time. Uh, so last I'd heard it was over 10,000 kids. So we'll uh, we'll prepare for that. Uh, it'll be a quick turnaround with two days of practice and an early tip. Yeah, speaking of the crowd, uh, you know, how tough is it? I mean, usually on season openers, you draw bigger crowd, but with all the tornado, tornado warnings, that, you know, held a lot of people back, having to just kind of maybe generate your own energy tonight. Yeah, and just to calm our kids. We have some kids that have been through two tornadoes now or threats and warnings, and, you know, that's not that common for us. So we had some kids that were emotional coming in. We had some – you know, I had some kids text me, are we going to play? I said, you know, so it, it entered their mind uh, how – I don't know, did anything – did we have any touchdowns? I think so. We yeah, did. For Rogers. Did it, uh, Rogers again? Rogers. Is like everybody okay? Do we know? Dix Delaney was in that area. Same area? Yeah. I mean, it was on my mind. I mean, if it's on my mind, I'm sure it's on them. I was calling – uh, you know, my kids were in a car wreck on the way home from school because of the wet weather. It's on my mind. Getting them home, getting them safe was certainly on everybody's mind. I know it hurt our crowd. I mean, I, there's regulars that I, I talked to that were all excited to come, and I know what, you know, it's because of that. But uh, it, that's still not an excuse for us to be flat, but it is certainly a reason uh, that there was, you know, the people that did show up brought as much energy as they could, but it was not what we were used to having. You're right. Yeah, Izzy, just um, a game like this, I know not the outcome that y'all want, but what do you think that y'all can take from from this game? Um, Just honestly, I think a lot to do with how we respond to adversity. Um, obviously, this was a good test for us. They're an elite basketball team. So, um, you know, we have a young team, and I think – just understanding like teams are going to go on runs and especially really good teams like that. And we've got to be able to, you know, accepting, move on to the next play and be able to get a next stop or a next score. Yeah. Y'all seem to, you know, struggle to defend the perimeter for a lot of the game. They made 13 threes. Just what do you think that was a byproduct of? Um, I think it was a byproduct of us allowing them to drive middle and be able to just kick it wherever they wanted to basically. Um, so, yeah. Personally, what do you think that um, you want to improve on yourself from this game? Uh, yeah, I, I, I take a lot of responsibility. I definitely didn't have my best game tonight. I mean, I see seven turnovers like that can't happen. I don't think I've ever had that many turnovers before. So um, definitely got to fix that, and I will. And then as a team, you know, just being more aggressive. Like they were an aggressive team, and I think we've got to match that energy. Yeah, they started off pretty hot. I mean, you will take the 14-10 lead after Jenna completed that 14-point play. Um, you know, I guess what was the – how were y'all feeling going into the game um, to get that type of start? Um, well, we knew coming out that they were going to be a good team, so we knew we weren't just going to walk out there and beat them, obviously. And um, so I think we were pr very prepared uh, – at the beginning of the game, you know, just eager to get it started. And um, I think we were doing a better job of being disciplined uh, defensively at, at the beginning of the game. But then 
your legs start to get tired and you kind of, you know, ease up a little bit. Yeah. I know I got, I think 24 points was their biggest lead. I got it down in the fourth quarter to either uh, 14 or 11, somewhere in there. Uh, what do you think of the team? Just, you know, I know it kind of got out of hand, but y'all's ability to, to still try and finish strong. Yeah, I was proud of that. Like we were able to rally there at the end and um, come together and have conversations in the huddle that were very efficient, I felt like, and um, be able to say, hey, on to the next play. And I liked how we responded to that. Uh, last thing I'll ask is just y'all got the elementary day game coming up later this week. Uh, what do you think that y'all need to do these days getting ready for uh, A&M Commerce? Um, just dial – honestly dial into our defense uh our defensive assignments like I feel like we've got to be more disciplined in in that area rebound no no second chance uh offense for them and uh more energy thank you thank you